here is a video on how to make a swirl I call this the swirl do this in Rhino it's one of the easiest ring to build if you were to 3D print it it turns out beautiful I 3D printed this then investment casting then casted silver buffed it and uh, it's beautiful if you want uh, if you're lazy you don't want to do it you got an Etsy page now where things are sell at cost and you can get it from there in silver exactly the one I show you in the photo and uh, I think I did three size we'll use a circle zero for the center hold shift and then we'll make a copy of the circle so hold to copy and shift to scale in uniform and we'll do a ring a little bit like this but it's thinner on the bottom but it is here now here we'll draw an ellipse using this view and it doesn't have to match the spacing between the two circles perfectly so we'll go this ellipse uh, we could snap here shift then drag it and make sure you're not snapping to something else it could be in between but we can just eyeball it uh, we don't have to make them touch perfect here we want an arc here I can use a line trim cutting is this enter and what do you want to cut this then we can get rid of the line arc and we'll use the start point so start and end we'll do it not too big something like that. finally fillet point one voila let's use shift and scale move it down a bit we're going to do a sweep too but we want to tell Rhino that to keep the profile here so we can select this go rotate make sure copy is set to yes because we want a new one zero for your center click here on the first point move it with shift voila and here too the only, uh, here we'll do it after the only thing we have here it's too short so we want to do a scale 1D one dimension to make it touch so scale 1D from here to the last point somewhere here I think it's more like this one and they don't have to be perfect like I said somewhere and then we can do a mirror zero or another rotate actually and we can now turn on record history and go sweep two first rail second rail cross cross and cross and usually you want all of these arrows to go the same direction and they are voila I think I spoke too fast if there's a twist it's that they were not so let's cancel uh, let's redo it sweep one two one two and three so look usually the the rule of thumb when you make ring is to have them inside so the seam is inside if it works you don't have to but if you want to do a, this is very important for texturing uv many things but if you're having issue like i'm having now make them all go inside you know like the seam of, of a t-shirt of a fabric and all in the same direction if this one was going this way you click on it and you go flip here and now we don't have a twist then you go close sweep and we're almost done so this is the shape and Rhino has a great tool called um, twist so you could go twist and here you want to twist from here to there and then you click here and you could drag or you could just type I was using I think 18 de degree voila the only thing you have to do now is make it a bit straighter and that's it that's the one I casted it's really simple but it's a beautiful ring if you don't need to see this you select the curve and you go hide 
Look at this. Really simple ring. 